Hi there, this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping back. I'm going to show you what I ended up doing with the gloss that I was painting the other night using the palette knives. Gotta admit, I wasn't too happy with it and I played and played and played and played with it and this is the best that I was able to do. So, don't think I'll probably be doing any more with palette knife until I get maybe a little more practice because I did end up using a brush and the palette knife and this and redid and redid and redid and finally I've got I've got to I've just got to paint something and finish this glass so that's kind of a fail on my end but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did I mean it came out okay it's not my favorite glass I have to admit but I did like I said struggle and struggle and struggle with it tonight I'm going to be using the Forest Moss Thicket Magenta and Wicker White. These are all the folk art enamels, glass paint. And I will be using a three quarter inch one stroke brush, flat brush, a number two script liner, and a palette knife which this one's a plaid folk art uh, one stroke uh, knife all right so let's go ahead and get started and what I did on this one is went ahead and went around the base of the gloss I should say the base of the ball of the gloss and did the straight leaves and again, I'm sorry, I'm really disappointed that, actually I'm starting this a different direction, disappointed that it didn't work out as well as I thought it would. It was a little bit more difficult to do the leaves, because I did do leaves with a palette knife, and it was just difficult to do what I needed to do. So, like I said, not that I may not, I'm not going to do any more, period. I just really probably need to get more practice with it not afraid of it because I really do like you know the canvas ones that are done with the palette knives I just some kind of I don't know interested in those for some reason all right so this will be part two of my wine glass painting and this is the large white wine glass just a real easy stroke. Just starting here around the base of the ball of the glass just pulling it up and turning turning the brush as I pull it up you know for some reason it doesn't cover all you just go back over it it's no biggie and as I've always mentioned when you're hand painting you know, you can do similar work from one glass to the next, but they're not all going to be identical. If you're going to be selling these, selling plated glassware, just make sure that people are aware. I mean, even if you did a stencil of some sort, it's still not all going to be identical. It's not made by a machine. It's not meant to be identical, honestly. If somebody's looking for that, then they need to probably buy something that's manufactured you know where a lot of pieces are being manufactured and by machine if that's what they're looking for like I said this definitely is very easy design <laughs> anybody can do it I mean a lot of my designs honestly that I'm showing you I want them to be easy because I want people to be able to do them and not get frustrated all right so I'm gonna take my palette knife and dip it into my wicker white and just do some quick little dashes of petals here and you can make more more flower petals you know if you want to I said I was just trying to keep it simple because of how much time I've actually spent on painting this crazy glass. 
I just I just needed to get it done. And also I think to the differences, I'm using glass paint. I'm not using the the heavy body paint that's typically used when you do the palette knife painting. So that could be making a difference too and the paint not behaving the way I would like it to. Like I said, just easy dabs. You can make the petals closer together, further apart. And again, when you're doing this, the petals are not meant to be uh, really nice and neat and, and uh, they're meant to be just kind of, you know, tapped and, and go. Like this one's kind of a little thicker than I really wanted. But I don't want to mess with it too much because then I'm going to have, have it be messed up. And I don't need to have to do this again. I just get so discouraged when it's something that, you know, looks so easy to do and then I try it and it's like, dang, nah, but I can't get it right. Why can't I get it right? But I think I just need more practice with it. And I'll do it. And that's one thing I try to stress to people when they're they're starting to do glass painting. You know, just keep practicing. Try, try different products. You know, I have tried different products and it happens to be that the folk art enamels are what I like the best. I like the coverage. Now I'm do, doing the magenta and I'm just dabbing a little circle in the middle. And like I said, it's not anything really detailed. Oops. This one's a little, a little messy butt, but that's okay. Again, it's 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 okay because it's not really something that has to be, you know, really you know, perfect, which is good, good for me. Now I'm going to use the liner brush, and I'm going to use it with the moss green. And oops, I forgot to stop. Sorry, I lied. I'm going to clean this off. I need to put in some little green petals around the, the flowers. And I'm not intending to make the petals all the way around the glass. Just in, you know, a few little spots. And with this, you know, I could have made more white petals kind of coming down. But for the purpose of the video, I'm just doing it this way. And just adding some little green leaves. And they kind of just look like the the actual flower petals too. It's just kind of fun. You can put two or three leaves. Doesn't have to no rocket science. If you want to have a leaf in between each each petal, flower petal, you can do that too. I don't particularly care to have it that way, so. That's why I'm doing it the way I am. And on some of them I can have three. Yeah. It's up to you. Okay, let's go back to the liner brush. So what I'm going to do is just kind of draw a stem down into here. And just go in between the actual leaves that I've painted already. And I'll just connect these two, go down like that. I guess that you could tell this is just a very simple, 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 simple design. Anybody could do this. You can pick up a paintbrush, you could paint this design. 
or if you have a palette knife you could paint this design. Then I'm going to go in and dip my brush into some of the thicket just to kind of give some more detail to this to the little stems or whatever that I'm painting on here. If you wanted to add some leaves to these stems, you could do that at this time. For the purpose of my video, I'm not doing that. If you decide to try this, though, I'd love to see your creations. Always love to see what people make. And if you like my videos, please feel free to, of course, subscribe, obviously. Uh, give me a big thumbs up if you like my video. Please share, comment below. If you do these on your own, I'd love to see what you end up doing. But here they are, like I said, they're not the, the prettiest creations I've ever made. I need to clean this glass up a little bit because of the paint, because I really did literally paint it several, several times last night and still wasn't happy with it. I guess I should get these on camera. Give you a, a better look. So now these I will just let air dry because of the puffiness of the paint. I will just let them air dry. And again, thanks so much for stopping by. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. If you decide to paint these, I'd love to see a picture of your results. And until the next video, have a good day.